everyone, and welcome to another segment of Board Gaming with Colleagues with To Die For Games. I'm Mandy, the board gaming pinup girl. I'm Tracy, the gaming maven. And I'm Steph, the games teacher. You know, girls, I forgot to shave this morning, so I think it's a great opportunity for us to play this cooperative game called The Grizzle during... Lunchtime! So today we'll be taking a look at The Grizzled, which was published by Cool Mini or Not, created by Fabien Rifo and Juan Rodriguez. The game plays in about 30 minutes, two to five players, and is about 14 plus. This game is also known in French as Les Poilus. Les Poilus, ah si. <laughs> the hairy. <laughs> the art in this game is actually by uh, French artist Tignou or Tignus. I'm not sure of the pronunciation. Uh, sadly, uh, that artist was one of the victims of the Charlie Hebdo uh, killings in Paris. So this is one of his last works of art, at least in the board gaming genre. So the objective of this game, it's cooperative, so you're, you're war, war, war members in the trenches and you're trying to get to the peace card before the war monument card comes up. So the idea is you're trying to take cards off of that pile so you can hopefully play them out and win the game and win the war. On your turn, you will play a card from your hand. If it is a trial card, it'll be placed in no man's land and you want to avoid getting three threats of the same type in no man's land, otherwise you lose the round. Or if it's a uh, hard knock card, it's played to your player tableau and generally has a negative effect that can affect you or another player. So some ways to help you out are to use speeches. Those are great. Rally the troops. And it can help you to remove a card that is in a player's hand. So you kind of say a threat, uh, bullets, and then other players look and see if they have that and it can be discarded from the game. Additionally, support by, from other players, getting the most support is also beneficial because it also allows you to uh, remove some of the hard knocks that are in front of you. So, very helpful. And the artwork on this game is very thematic. It's kind of dingy and dark and a little bit depressing, but you know, you, you try to work through that and rally yourself. I like the character names. Uh, very French, of course, <laughs> reminiscent of, you know, maybe World War I soldiers in Vimy or uh, Dieppe. Um, in, in France, so I, I really enjoyed the game quite a bit. It's one of the first games in a long time that I've wanted to play again repeatedly after the first playthrough, so. Yeah, definitely a game I've introduced to many people and they all love it. I really like the good luck charm that the little characters have in this game that you can use to help you out, so that's really fun. But overall the art is fantastic, it's accurate, and it's just a fun game. Everyone loves it and it's hard, really hard. Really, really, really hard. Oh, wow. It's great. <laughs> Anyways, I think lunch break is over, so, I mean, we played it so much. You know, it's oh. time to get back to work, so. Oh. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye.